Today let's talk about hereditary spherocytosis. As its name implies, hereditary spherocytosis, abbreviated HS, is an inherited condition caused by defects in plasma membrane stabilizing proteins. These defects cause red blood cells to lose membrane surface area and become sphere-shaped, hence the name spherocytosis. Being sphere-shaped decreases the red blood cell's ability to fold and makes it more vulnerable to sequestration and destruction by the spleen. These effects cause the lifespan of the red blood cells to decrease to 10 to 20 days instead of 120 days. The shortage of red blood cells leads to anemia. HS is also characterized by erythrostasis, which is the stoppage of erythrocytes in capillaries. HS most frequently occurs among Northern European and Caucasian descendants, where rates are 1 in 5,000. Its specialized membrane skeleton gives RBCs durability and the capacity to fold, which is necessary in order to pass through very small capillaries. The specialized RBC membrane is made up of spectrin that consists of alpha and beta chains, which intertwine to form helical dimers. Spectrin interacts with ancrin and band 4.2, which in turn bind to the transmembrane ion transporter, band 3. Spectrin also interacts with actin and protein 4.1, which binds to the transmembrane protein glycophorin A. Pathogenic mutations most commonly affect ancrin, band 3, spectrin, or band 4.2 leading to destabilization of the lipid bilayer and shedding of membrane fragment, forcing the RBCs to assume the smallest possible diameter, a sphere. A weak and instable RBC membrane skeleton reduces the cell's ability to fold and leads to early destruction of RBCs in the spleen. Magnifying a section of the spleen, we find the splenic cords, or cords of Billroth, of the red pulp, which contain many small strands called reticular fibers. Most of the red blood cells flow through the spleen quickly, but a portion of the red blood cells must slowly navigate their way through these reticular fibers of the spleen's red pulp. The passageways to get through the reticular fibers are so small that folding of the red blood cell is required to pass through. Spherical red blood cells in those with hereditary spherocytosis lose this folding ability and get stuck in the cords of Billroth. Intermingled in the fibers are macrophages that phagocytose the red blood cells that are stuck in the cords. This splenic destruction of spherical RBCs is what greatly lessens their lifespan from 120 days down to 20 days. The characteristic symptoms of HS include splenomegaly, and the spleens can become quite large. Splenomegaly is due to all the spherocytes being trapped in the spleen. Hemolytic anemia occurs due to splenic destruction of the spherocytic red cells. This lack of red blood cells leads to fatigue shortness of breath, syncope, irritability, and pallor. Jaundice occurs due to the excess bilirubin breakdown from all the dying red sphero spherocytic cells being trapped in the body, giving tissues a yellowish appearance. Rarely, leg ulcers develop due to the inability of the spherocytes to fold in small capillaries. This leads to sluggish flow of the cells, or erythrostasis. This congestion may lead to the development of the ulcers. One complication of HS is an aplastic crisis, which is a marked decrease in immature RBCs known as reticulocytes. This crisis most often comes about due to an individual with HS being infected by a parvovirus. Parvovirus infects and destroys red blood cell progenitors in the bone marrow. This causes a deficit in RBC production 
that may last for one to two weeks until the immune system controls the parvovirus infection. This halt in erythropoiesis leads to worsening of anemia and may necessitate the need for blood transfusions until the immune response kicks in and clears the infection. A hemolytic crisis in HS patients may occur when an intercurrent event such as infectious mononucleosis leads to increased destruction of RBCs in the spleen. Infectious mononucleosis targets lymphocytes and causes them to proliferate. The spleen enlarges as it attempts to filter the lymphocytes in the blood. Blood flow through the spleen is now even more sluggish, increasing the rate that red blood cells are also destroyed, making patients more prone to developing hemolytic anemia. Those with HS are also prone to developing gallstones, abundant unconjugated bilirubin from excess breakdown of red blood cells accumulates in the gallbladder causing pigmented gallstones. In the diagnosis of HS, it is important to check family history since HS is an inherited condition. Observing a peripheral smear under a microscope is another important part of HS diagnosis. Those with HS typically show anisocytosis, spherocytosis, and howl jolly bodies in the blood smear. Anisocytosis is a term used to describe the unequal sizes of the red blood cells. Howl jolly bodies are clusters of DNA remnants in the erythrocytes, which are usually removed in the spleen. When these bodies are present, it indicates a damaged or missing spleen. Patients with HS also show decreased hemoglobin A1C levels. This test determines how much glucose is attached to the hemoglobin of the red blood cells and is normally used to evaluate glucose control in diabetic patients. The hemoglobin A1C levels are low in HS because of the reduced RBC lifespan. In a diagnostic test known as the osmotic fragility test, red blood cells are exposed to a series of hypotonic solutions of varying concentrations. This test is performed to measure the cell's ability to take up fluid without bursting. When red cells are in their healthy biconcave shape, they have the ability to expand their volume by 70% as they take in fluid and resist lysis. However, when RBCs are spherical, they can't expand nearly as much and end up rupturing more easily. The sooner the red cells burst during the test, the greater the osmotic fragility of the cells. There is no cure for the genetic defects of HS, but a very important treatment is splenectomy. Removal of the spleen allows for the spherocytes of HS to survive much longer improving the symptoms. The splenectomy may be either a full splenectomy for moderate and severe cases or a partial splenectomy for mild cases. Splenectomy treats the anemia, gallstones, hemolytic anemia, and aplastic crisis. However, it does increase the risk of sepsis. This is due to the fact that the spleen plays an important role in filtering bacterial pathogens from the blood. In summary, HS is an inherited condition that causes defects in the membrane skeleton of red blood cells. These defects cause RBCs to become spherical and makes them prone to premature destruction in the spleen. Important manifestations of HS include splenomegaly, jaundice, and anemia with its associated symptoms. Complications such as aplastic crisis, hemolytic crisis, and gallstones forming may also occur. HS can be treated by a full or partial splenectomy. Thanks for watching.